ton of stuff that is on um uh in storage and and they would bring this stuff out some of it's years old and it's just dirty 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 okay so um you want to wash it and especially with coronavirus every touch and everything and coughing and sneezing and all you want to take this stuff and immediately stick it in your kitchen sink um with hot water because it's cotton you want to shrink it and get the weave tighter and you want to get the germs out of it um and 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 be working with the real stuff that way when you make the mask it's going to be the exact same size as what you cut it to be that's why you pre-wash and and you pre uh, dry it and and that way it's fully shrunk down and the weave is tight you want tight weave you know the way they make the fabric they weave it and so it doesn't have a stretch it's just a weave so you know you when you buy it it's like this when you wash it and dry it it gets like this and that's what we want we don't want penetration of the coronavirus and then you know using um we know now that using the um interfacings are really really good for uh added protection it gives layers i i just i'm you know i just don't know about using fusion based interfacings because it's a glue and i don't know about people breathing that all day i do know that there's uh somebody that's doing one with vacuum cleaner bags a special grade of hepa vacuum cleaner bags and literally cutting these bags up and they're gross expensive you try to buy them in the store or online they're huge expensive and you only do about two of those little rectangle ones out of that and the problem is that's a fiberglass based product so that means somebody's going to put this on their face and be inhaling fiberglass all day and i mean that will surely cancer up your lungs you don't even need to smoke for that just wear a mask with that 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 damn hepa vacuum cleaner bag made out of it um uh Doctors and nurses are even using coffee filters as an additional layer under their mask and just, you know, fold it up or whatever. Um, and they're wearing like, you know, one and two masks because they're supposed to be taking off their mask after every patient. If they go in one room to go to the next, you want to take that off before you go to the next room because the other person may not have corona. And you'll just be giving it to them if the person you saw before does it. Just like with a doctor. They're not going to use the same gloves to go check a guy out for his heart and then go do a pap smear on some chick. But these coffee filters that look like this. Okay. And they'll take and put this in there and I'll just kind of fold it up. And, and put it under that mask or in a pocket of the mask. And you can just pull it out throw it away. And um, the little rectangle ones are throwaways. They're garbage. Um, the N95 styled mask, they're, they're kind of a muggy looking mask. Kind of like what you put on a dog, like a muzzle. Those are better masks. And if you make them right, then they're washable. But you have to be careful sticking metal on there and stuff. Some people are using weird metals to stick in there to shape it. And it's going to rust. Um, and that's not good. If you have a mask, you need one for every day, um, as a, just a person wandering about, um, or you've got to wash one mask every day you use it, and it needs to be dry before you use it again. And, um, uh, you know, the best way to wash it to get the corona out is just put it in the kitchen sink with hot water and soap. Soak it for about 30 minutes. Rinse it out with hot water and hang it to dry. That is your best option. Once it's fully dry, after a couple days, if you're doing it for a retail product, then you want to put it in a Ziploc bag. But remember, when this stuff goes to hospitals, um, they're going to run it through the sterilizer machine or they're going to give it to customers and it's a throwaway. Um, because the people wore out all of the masks in the emergency rooms way back um, because they would say, well, get a mask when you walk in the door before you sit down. And the people go up and take 50 of them and stuff them in their purse and all that instead of just one. And that's why we have a shortage today. Okay. Um, that's a huge reason why we have a shortage today. 
And so, um, oh, also, I saw on the Joanne website today, which has all been changed around, that now they're saying that Joanne is supplying all the stuff to make the um, hospital gowns and the face masks. And it's like, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but anyway, so there it is. There's the Joanne Fabric scam to get you to buy something and claiming they're an essential store. Wrong. Try again. And do you know, Mr. Whatever you are that owns it, it's a tax write-off to donate. Did you know that? It is a tax write-off to donate. So if you kept track of all these things that you need to have, that you advertise that you got to have your store open because you're giving away free corona stuff. All this stuff's a tax write off for donation on your taxes. So, um, why don't you do it right? And why would you let tons and tons of mercantile go out the door with no ticket? Even for the small kids, why would you not have somebody sign up with their name? And then, uh, you know, one kit, and then, you know, you're expecting those to come back. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of the fabrics I saw that first day went up there, they all went online. And they're being sold all over the place, so. I don't know. But anyway, I hate when people scam me. You know, I love to do wonderful, kind things for people, but please don't scam me. You know, it cost me a lot for my education, and I've done it for a great many years. Um, before I went to school for it, my mother taught me how to sew. And she's a tremendous seamstress. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. And that, and, and, I mean, that's, I've done a huge amount of years sewing. So, don't tell me, because I know. <laughs> All right? I got college degree in this mess. But anyway, talk to you later, and I hope that helps you. And don't get scammed by Joanne Fabrics, okay? Um, it's a shame. And what it basically boils down to is if you can find the supplies which are very hard to come by plus you can't even buy a sewing machine right now i've got like six here in the floor i'm servicing all of them i've got a neighbor that needs one and um i always have a backup machine in case i have one that breaks i'm used to that for years um and i got more in storage but anyway uh uh i wish i had my straight liner here that would be the greatest thing because i can whip my mask out like crazy and anyway, i got a bunch of fabric to wash and some of it's just not suitable, I don't think. But, um, I got lots to do. I've already started some stuff with my own fabric. And, uh, check my other vlogs. I have vlogs one through five on how to make the, the right, uh, face mask the right way. Um, on my channel, subscribe so you can see those for free. Um, and if you subscribe, that's also free to subscribe to my channel. But, enjoy talking with you. Don't get fooled by the scam at Join Fabrics. And um, do something kind for a stranger. Make a new friend every day. And as always, too much of a good thing is wonderful. We'll take lots of that. Stay safe. Don't get the coronavirus. And uh, let's help these folks out. Uh, love to you. Talk to you later.